So this is the magazine, and the most important part about a Vanix magazines are you have to put your pellet in here, and then you have to actually push it down with a, a pen or something, and you'll hear it, and you'll feel it go down. I don't know if you can see this, but... This is going down way below the rim right there of the pellet where it holds a pellet. So you have to push it down and feel it hit the floor and get it way inside. You'll hear it click in, get it way inside that pellet reservoir until you click to your next one. So I'm going to put it in. Now that's flush with the top, but that's not where you want it. You want to put it way down in there and you'll feel it. I know that's not focused, but you'll feel it go down like that and then you can click it to your next one. <clears throat> the other thing about this is that right here, there's a little O-ring that is called the breech seal. And this is something that you can change yourself and you do have to change them every once in a while. Right now, the breech seal fell out and it came out a couple weeks ago. So I ordered a new one for you and all you have to do is pop that baby in. But until you fix that, you can only load 7 out of 10 bullets in the magazine. So you can load your magazine up and do full auto, but only do 7 out of the 10. So just go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and load 7 and then your thing will still fire just fine without jamming um if it does get jammed let me see here so if for some reason the gun gets jammed and the bolts get stuck forward and you can't get your mag out right here then you're going to take this bolt out and then i think there's another bolt right here and then Right here, that little line right there, you just want to separate that and pop these two pieces apart just a very teeny bit, like maybe a couple millimeters. And when you do that, on the other side right here, that bolt will just go chink and it'll just pop right back. And then you just put these two screws in and squeeze it back together. You never want to open that up all the way because then the hammer will come out. But... That's how you unjam one of these semi-autos. If you can't get the thing unjammed, you can't get your, your magazine out, uh, then you undo this bolt and one of these two bolts up here, like both of these bolts up here, and this thing will just pop apart, you just pop it apart teeny bit, and then that thing will uh, come right back out. The other thing is you don't want to shoot this gun uh, below 100 PSI. Once it gets to about 50 PSI, um, it can that can also jam it the other thing you don't want to do is you don't want to shoot fully automatic When you have a dead battery because that can also jam it if the battery's dead, so um, it, When you feel when you hear your cyclic rate start to go down like it starts to go chunk 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 instead of chunk chunk chunk, chunk Then you you want to change your battery if you're ever gonna go have some fun and you just want to be sure charge your battery um, the other thing is that you don't want to leave that battery plugged in for too long because it'll it should turn itself off but sometimes those get hot so when you do charge it um, plug it in and just check it in about an, uh, an hour or two and go ahead and unplug it if it's turned green and you should be ready to go um, then give me a call if you need any questions and uh, if you ever need to get worked on you just call Pyramid Air and they have a, a service center there Air Venturi and you can send things in to get work on they They'll fix your gun and mail it back to you for like 60 bucks. All right. Thanks.